Hello, this is Veta and welcome to Calendar Time with Veta. Today is May 20th. Um, there's a cat on the calendar and I really like him and I wish I could eat him in my free time and thank you for coming. Hello friends, it's so good to see you. I miss you. It's been so long since I've seen your faces. I got to see some of you on our meeting on Google though, on the computer or on the phone and you all look so big. You've grown so much. Actually, we've had two birthday this month. We've had one on Monday and one on Wednesday. You all are getting older and bigger every day. Let's start off by doing our calendar. Hmm, is today a Wednesday? No, it's not. It's Friday. Let's move our kitty. Days. Are you ready? We're going to start with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What comes next? Ten. You are right. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Phew, I need a breather before I go on to the next two. Are you ready? 21 and 22. 22. Oh my goodness, we are almost in summer. Summer. Let's look at the weather outside. Put on your goggles. What does it look like outside? To me, it's cloudy with a little bit of sun. So I have my cloud and my sun. Okay, now we're gonna read our book today. And this week we're talking about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs say rawr. Can you say rawr? Good rawr. <coughs> that was Vader roaring for me. <coughs> Good job, Vader. <coughs> he keeps roaring. <laughs> okay. Let's read our book about dinosaurs. Every time you hear the word dinosaur, I want you to go roar, <coughs> like Vader. Ready? How do dinosaurs get well soon? <gasps> I tried to take you. There was dinosaurs. <coughs> oh, good job. <coughs> How do dinosaurs get well soon? <coughs> good job, Vader. Look at that dinosaur. <gasps> What if a dinosaur <coughs> catches the flu? Does he whimper and whine in between each achoo? When he's sick, should he cry? Does he drop dirty tissues all over the floor? Oh, should we put our dirty tissues on the floor? No. Does he fling all his medicine out of the door? Should we not take our medicine and throw it around? No. Does he flip his covers with tooth and with tail? No, that's not a good dinosaur. Does he dump out his juice and get sick in a pail? Should you dump out your juice all over the floor? No. Does a dinosaur wail? When you wail, that means you're crying. Oh, oh you're right. Did I say dinosaur? Roo, roo. What if a dinosaur, we can go, roar, goes to the dock? Does he drag all his feet till his moon is in shock? Till his mom is in shock? Should we pretend not to go to the doctor? No, we're sick and we don't feel good. We should go to the doctor. Does he hold his mouth closed when he's told open wide? When the doctor says open wide, should you go like this? No, when they say open wide, you should go, ah, you practice, say, ah. 
Does he scream? Is he mean? Does he run off and hide? Should you scream and hide when you're playing, when you're at the doctor? No. Does he push back each drink? Spit his pills in the sink? Does he make a big stink? Is what? Is that what you think? Everybody say, no. No. He drinks lots of juice and he gets lots of rest. He's good at the doctors because doctors know best. Doctors know how to make us feel good. He uses a hanky on mouth and on nose. He snuggles right down underneath the bedclothes. He's going to bed. When we're sick, we need to sleep. He takes all his medicine without a fight. Oh good, look, he's taking his medicine from his dad. He closes his eyes. He whispers, good night. The mama and papa tiptoe out the door. Get well, get well, little dinosaur. Oh, what did I say at the end? Dinosaur, you go, roar. When we hear dinosaur. Yep, you can hear Vader roaring. Good job. That was a, such a good book, my friends, about being a dinosaur and being good when we are sick. Should we stomp around when we're sick? You can say no. Let me get a picture and we can practice saying no. Are you ready? Here's my picture. Okay, should we stomp at the doctor and hide from him? You can say no. Should we not take our medicine? No. Should we cry and be upset? No. Good job, my friends. That was our book. Now we're going to talk about our butterflies. It's been a long time since we talked about our butterflies. We're going to learn two more parts of a butterfly. Are you ready? Let's look up here. Okay. First, we learned the antenna and eye. Remember, your antenna looks like this. And your eyes point to your eyes. That's his eyes. Now we're going to learn about the thorax. Thorax, which is his belly. His belly. And then his abdomen are his legs. Like this. His legs. Thorax, abdomen. Let's practice looking on our butterfly where the thorax and abdomen is. Hmm, I wonder where the thorax or belly on this butterfly is. Right there. And there's the abdomen. Thorax, abdomen. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Are you ready? Thorax, abdomen. Thorax, abdomen. That's a big butterfly. Let's try to do the next one. Remember, the words are thorax and abdomen. Look at this picture. Do you see the thorax? Good. This is the thorax. Where's the abdomen? Good job. That is the abdomen. Hmm. Can you find the eyes? Those are the eyes. Can you find the antenna? You're right, that's the antenna. Good job, my friends. Working on butterfly. And guess what? Today I got a special video from a friend who has a caterpillar who was turned into a chrysalis at home. Remember, our chrysalis looks like this. I'll put the video in now so you can see his caterpillar. Wow, that was such a good video. We could see his chrysalis moving right before he turned into a butterfly. Hopefully we'll get a video of his butterfly soon. Okay, one last thing my friends, 
we are going to do our letter. And our letter isn't this letter, but I want to practice. Do you remember what this letter is? Yes, this letter is C. C. C makes the sound k, k, k. Remember? We go k, k, k. You do it with me. K, k, k. For C. Good job. We're going to do a new letter this week. Are you ready? Our letter is B. You say B. Good job. A B has, the ball has the letter B. It makes the sound B, B, B. You make the sound. Ready? B, B, B. Let's do it one more time. Ready? B, B, B. B is for ball, B. Good job. That is our letter of the week. B, B, B. Ball. Great work this week, my friends. I hope that you join me next week and I've got a special video coming soon. I miss you so much and I hope you are happy at home and that you enjoy our sun and play outside. I love you, my friends. Goodbye.